Yes, it's live. That's what we're looking at. see the chat here got it over there alrighty and like it says uh, Mildy, wow, it took me five minutes to get that all set up 
Um, I'm going to have to edit that out. But hey, this is Troy. We're Troy's Cars and Cars. Um, guys, I'm actually working on setting up um, uh, another channel for just the Hot Wheels and uh, separating out the some of the Hot Wheels and diecast stuff. And that'll be on My Boy's Toys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have his Camaro video that we uploaded to this channel. I'm actually trying to edit it up a little bit and I'm going to post it over to uh, my boys toys and the same with this video because um, it's going to be mostly die cast because uh, I did do a, a, some trading some pickups um, and I, I did get one card in the mail from an eBay uh, an eBay purchase it's just the biggest thing with cards is that they're uh, practically impossible to get in the wild right now so uh, tell you what then let's start off with the, the, the trade pickup I have a trade that we got in from Big A's Diecast. Uh, his video is uploaded. If you want to go ahead and check out Big A's Diecast, uh, I went ahead. We went ahead and sent Big A um, a couple of cars that he was having some trouble finding from the Kroger exclusive set, the uh, yellow Datsun 510 and the uh, white um, Acura. I think it's the Acura, White Acura NSX. And in exchange, he sent us one of the cards that we were having trouble finding. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. What is it? What is it? Actually, it's one that uh, we ended up getting lucky enough to catch a bunch of, which was Red. The, this one right here. So we could not find this one, and this is... Um, the Krog exclusive red Batmobile. Alex, good, good evening, sir. Good evening. All right. Uh, this video is going to be mostly a uh, diecast, but um, and I was saying actually, we're gonna or I'm gonna be trying to split off uh, the diecast stuff and the toy stuff, and um, having uh, I'm trying to try to do a channel called My Boys Toys where I can. Uh, list all the the diecast stuff we do, and then uh, Troy's cards is um, gonna try to go primar uh, primarily back to baseball uh, with cards and memorabilia. The biggest thing about baseball right now is that um, I just can't get any. I can't seem to land any uh, you know baseball cards in the wild. But I've got a ton of sorting to do. Um, so, and I don't mean to steal Bruce Lang's idea or anything, but that's probably what I'm going to try to start doing to go ahead and keep the content going. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, start doing some of my sorting live, um, or at least record it and put it out. But this uh, this car was a Kroger exclusive red Batmobile. It was only available through the Kroger and Kroger line of uh, stores. Um... I did a trade with Big A's diecast. Sent him two of the, and originally it was just uh, I was gonna send him one and one because I had extra, but um, I ended up having plenty of the dots and extras. Not plenty. I think I have one left um, for Edison's um, set. But the uh, the biggest thing is that I know that Dotson's a, a big car. A lot of guys collect that, so I sent him two of the Dotson 510 uh, in yellow uh, wagon. And I sent him one of the NS, uh, Acura NSX in white. And he sent us this one. And since he sent us this one, and this this mobile is actually one that we display. I'm going to open it up. It is the standard 1966 mobile casting from the TV show. But done in um, like a metallic, uh, uh, kind of a satin metallic red. It's got some silver stripes in the back with the, or all along the top, along with the, the the red bat on the hood for the Batmobile. It's also the red bat's also on the side. But I mean, I just love the uh, this Batmobile casting. What's up, guys? Oh, and there's Essen as we speak. Um, in the 66 Batmobiles, because that's the only one I, I really collect. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have seven 
There was one I was going to pick up from a, a local flea market, um, but I missed it. I, I was going through and saw it, and the guy wanted $5 for it, and you know, along with COVID and everything else, it was hard to get back, and uh, I did get back to the store, uh, to the flea market, but they weren't open that day, and the place where the guy put the car, uh, I didn't see it again. Oh, Mr. Alex says, hi, Edison. Um, but I didn't see it. It was a, if it was a Batmobile uh, casting that I didn't have, so I would, it would have been nice to get that one. So there we go. Now, um, Big Eight, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate the trade. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I ended up Edison. And I got lucky, and just this past weekend. I found it. Not him. Yes, yes, yes. We uh, went to right a Kroger on. Interstate 55 in Jackson, and uh, it was a new display, and apparently, as I've pretty much known already, here in Jackson and here in Mississippi, they put up all the displays late. Um, a lot of the other store, oh, what's going on, Isaac? Um, so we ended up <laughs> getting lucky, and I got a couple more of the Batmobile. Um... And with the other one we did not have, we got a couple of the 60, uh, 67 Camaro in black that was also a Kroger exclusive. So now we have all four of the Kroger exclusive cars. I have the other ones um, right here. So in the Kroger exclusives, it was the Batmobile. The 67, the the uh, mainline cover for the six, the mainline color for the 67 Camaro was kind of a brownish red. The black was the Kroger exclusive. Here is the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 in yellow, and then the 1990 Acura and SX in white. Those are the four Kroger exclusives. Well, then, the at the same time, or not at the same time, but for 2021. Uh, GameStop also had. I keep having to scroll the chat. Okay. Oh, and my dog had puppies. Oh yes, and our dog. Well, a, a dog that appeared up on our doorstep because we live out in the dog. country. Yeah, dog. Edison's dog Biscuit had puppies just recently. It was bred by yet another local runaround dog. Oh, back back to what I was saying though. Um, GameStop also did some uh, color exclusives. Therefore, were the Porsche 914 Safari, which is this blue car here. It originally, in the main line, was done in yellow. The Big Air Bel Air has been released in two colors already, a blue and a white. And this gold was uh, the exclusive for GameStop. And actually, there's the gold open. Here's the white one. And I've already got the blue one displayed in my garage. The other two uh, GameStop exclusives were the 2020 Ford Mustang GT500 in a candy apple red with the white stripes and the white decos, and then the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. So those four, and I was lucky enough to grab all the four of those, were the GameStop exclusives. I found it. Yes, Edison found it. No, you weren't lucky enough to grab it. And then. Actually, and not in a trade, but an outright purchase I made with Danny, uh, Danny from Danny and Gray's. I got this Batmobile, and usually I would open it because uh, it's a casting I don't have open. But this is the only one we have, so that one goes. It's a it's an ID Chase, you know, on an ID Chase card. It does have the chip in the inside for the uh, exclusive Hot Wheels ID track. Um, the uh, the Hot Wheels ID track system allows you to. Uh, pretty much record, I think it's scale race speeds, so and, and post it on the internet, so you can race basically over the internet. But um, since this is the only one I have, it goes in his, you know, save it for whenever box. If you want to, you can. That'll be just fine, Edison. This is true. I will not. Um, uh, also, Edison found while we were looking through that uh, that display where we found <laughs> Alex said he wouldn't open it. Uh, he also found this one, which is a treasure hunt, and 
this symbol here. Stop being on, so ornery. Post it on the car. Stop being ornery. <laughs> uh, I'm identifies it as a Opposite. treasure hunt. This is the 2020 P case, Opposite. and that's signified by that letter P there okay. at the end of the uh, the the, the um, I guess ID number. But that P says that this card came from the P case, and for every case. There's one card listed as the treasure hunt, one card listed as the super treasure hunt. This was the PK treasure hunt. Edison also found that one uh, in the case that we found those Batmobiles. And he found this. This is, in, and I've mentioned it before about, you see the symbol there, right back yeah, here. the TH at, by the way. On that car. That indicates that this car was a super treasure hunt. Dad, where's the TH? Where is the TH? It is. Is that it right there? Yeah. In the back on silver. Oh, he's looking at it now, but um, that car is a super treasure hunt. Um, the super treasure hunt cars are. Uh, um, F1. They did actually, they do have a. Um, a, a like a formula, I think it's like a future formula series. Um, it's uh, golly, I don't see it. You don't see it. No. Um, I don't know what exactly what it's called, man. I didn't get any because I'm not a uh, a really big Formula One fan, but I'm pretty sure they do have a Formula One style car. Uh, I don't, I don't see it either. Well, but this car, the 2017 Pagani Hoyer, uh, Hawaii, Huayra, Huayra, I don't know how to say that actually, Roadster, um, I don't know if you can actually see it or if I can Grandy get it. Says, Congratulations, Grandpa Edison. <laughs> Alright, there it is. You see the symbol on the card in the back, that golden colored okay. flame symbol? Uh, the car is done with real riders, which are the rubber tires. It is done in a what they call Spectra Flame paint, which is shinier than a standard mainline. And this is a super treasure hunt. And Edison found that one in that same case, which was awesome. And it's it, a super treasure hunt is so awesome to find. Hey guys, we haven't found one in quite some time. So Alex, I mean, would you be interested if if they did have some? Um, F1 series cars. Hey, anyone got the Super Treasure Hunt, um, what's it called? Which one? Uh, oh, the Jags? Yeah, anyone got the, su um, the Super... The Super Treasure Hunt Demon. Yeah. Uh, Edison really would like a would Super Treasure Hunt Demon. I, I, would tra I would take that green car and trade you. So, yes, if, if anybody would like to comment if, after watching the video, if they do have an extra, um, Jags... Uh, Demon Super Treasure Hunt from last from last year from 2020. Edison would really really like one of those, so we'd have to try to strike up a trade on that. Some of the other store pickups we got in Hot Wheels. Let's take a look. Um, Edison has become a big fan of the Carbonator series. Um, it's a Hot Wheels car that has a special feature. See and actually. Here is the, and they, they do this one kind of every year. This is the 2020 uh, New Year Edition car. Can I it will focus? I think it does when I put something behind it. There it goes. Happy New Year 2020. They also did one of these for 2021, which he opened. But you'll notice here on the back, it's a, it's a church key. It is a, a working bottle opener. Um, and then this one is a just a mainline uh, carbonator, which is the same car. Well, that, that's fine. He can play. Well, you should turn it down. So there we go. The carbonator.
All right, go ahead and put that one right there. Yep, exactly. Cool bottle opener. And then a lot of guys actually carry, they carry, uh, when they go hunting and whatnot, they carry a car in their pocket and they call it uh, their pocket car. So, um, it would be cool to have a, a pocket car if you went out and needed a, a church gear bottle opener and pull out a, a Hot Wheels out of your pocket and pop the bottle open with it. That would be super awesome. Um, a couple of other pickups we made. I went ahead and got this big time muscle. It's from Jada. Um, we already have actually, and you'll notice this. What that's what this is. This is a Jada car, and they're they're made a little. It's the same uh, scale. I think it's 164 scale, but it's it's done a little bit bigger. It's got exceptionally wide rear tires. Um, this is Firebird. It's real nice. It's really big, but I I like these castings, the Jada castings. So out of that series, we I've got the Corvette, the Mustang, the Camaro, the far, the '70 Firebird, which you just saw, and then this one right here is the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. And it's got the looks like Borgia, I guess. Um, deco in the rear quarter panel. Oh, I didn't notice that when I picked it up, but this one, unlike the other big-time muscle cars, does not have the big super. It's got a flat pack, a flat black top with the silver, uh, silver sides. There's the forge I was talking about, but it didn't have the super right, uh, wide tires. So that's I, I do I just like the Jada castings. They're they're really cool hot looking cars. Oh ooh, that that nineteen this is nineteen seventy card one. I got I think I highlighted that on a video the other day. One of the other ones we picked up. Twenty eighteen Bugatti Devo. Um, that one, a lot of other guys have been hunting for that one and found it, and I had not even seen that. I saw it in videos, and finally got the C1 in the store, so I picked one up. And actually, just looking at that being a Matchbox car, I grabbed one of those to go ahead and keep. And I'm going to keep that one on card, but I got lucky enough to find another one out of Dollar General. And the, uh... The, um, oh golly, the blister's cracked. So, see how the blister's already cracked on it. We're going to go ahead and release that cup and take a closer look at that casting. I got to keep that there. That's a good spot. The Bugatti Devo. It's, I mean, it's got the Bugatti front, which is the little half moon thing right in the center. Um, it looks like the front grill is actually cast as part of the windshield. So it's got a, a clear windshield, clear side windows, and then it goes into the front grill right here, which appears to be clear. So if you're, um, if you're a customizer, you go ahead and put some kind of... LED lighting or, or something uh, some kind of diode for lighting in there that would be sweet it says Devo on the rear and it's spotted red let's see if I can get it to focus that's one of the things about the way this is set up the the camera wants to focus on everything way in the back and not on anything close there you go now you can see the Devo in the red Red, so it's pretty nice details. Then the blue parts match the interior, and then it has a gray plastic base. 
with that kind of satin black top. But man, that's that's an awesome casting. For it to be a, a matchbox. Yeah, some of the Bugatti, uh, Bugatti castings as of late have been really big, both in Hot Wheels, and that's the first one I've seen in Matchbox. Also in Matchbox, I picked up a 2015 Corvette Stingray Matchbox Highway Patrol Trooper in gray. I went ahead and I wish I'd have saw more than one of those because I'd have got uh, I'd have got one to keep, but this one. I'm probably going to send, oh, I didn't even notice that. It says Interstate 40, 10 Interstate 40 right there on the sign on the card. Um, but one of the guys I, I'd, I'd kind of trade and deal with is a Corvette guy. Um, so, Craig, if you watch this video, this will be coming your way, boss. I hope you don't have this one ready. 2015 Corvette Stingray in, in a flat gray, and it is a matchbox cop car basically so I think that was pretty much it for the um, oh no a couple more target pickups actually uh, big A actually the uh, I did get it. As a matter of fact, that this is it right here, sir. Uh, I watched the video. I didn't comment on yours yet because when I do comment, I'm going to put a link to this one. But there it is right there. And one of the things I was talking about because just this past weekend, my son Edison and I went on a hunt. And yeah, while well, I move some of these cars out the way. Move that one back, move that one back. Alright, I did a video already and you may have seen it. These are the four GameStop exclusives. I got lucky enough to get all four of those. And then, just this weekend. Alright, of course, you're familiar with these because these are the ones I sent you, Big A. The two we did not have. Batmobile and the Black Camaro. We, uh, Edison and I, uh, got lucky and went to Kroger and they had a brand new display. And we were the, uh, um, Um, oh, Alex, I'm going to answer that question in just a second because I've got some really good news on as far as how I've been. Um, what's up, field guy? Uh, who dat, who dat? Got to yell out to my Saints fan there, but uh, I wish we would have played a little bit better ball on, that, uh, on, on the weekend. Um, but what I was saying is that we uh, hit a, a, a brand new PK dis a PK's display. Got those exclusives. We also got the PK's treasure hunt and Edison found the Pagani PK Super see it so it was definitely a nice uh, a, a great hunt oh not a problem big yeah, uh, I watched the video and that's I uh, had all this stuff put up for me to go ahead and get ready to do this one, so that's why we're here. But I definitely appreciate it. So, uh, but yeah, that that super uh, we did not have that Pagani super when he found that one. It was I've got actually, and when I uh, after I upload this video, I'm gonna go ahead and um, upload a little video. I, I went ahead and uh, caught while we were doing that. Now let's see. All right. Back with the Target uh, Matchbox pickups. Pickups. Also got this right here, 1971 Porsche 914. That is a classic Porsche. Now 
red plastic bottom, red tire, red uh, rims, white with the red Porsche uh, stripe. Looks like a kind of a gray silver um, interior that runs to the front and front grille and rear bumper, and then apparently the black top also becomes part of the front and rear. But I've got uh, a nice little Porsche collection in my um, display garage, and that's where this one is going to be added to it. I've got uh, over a hundred cars in my little display garage. And then also at Target, we finally got this one that was eluding us for a while. This is the, um, the BK's Treasure Hunt. You see the Treasure Hunt symbol in the back. It's technically the same symbol as the Super Treasure Hunt, but it's in gray instead of gold. And it's the Street Wiener. The, where's the treasure hunt? The circle flame, okay. You can't really see because of the way the bubble is or the the, the the blister, but right there on the side is um, the circle flame, which signifies this car as a treasure hunt. But honey it's pretty bun. cool. My mom said honey bun. No, mother. <laughs> honey bun, it's so cute. Thank you. Is that it? Oh, and I got another Porsche, actually. Um, oh, not a problem, man. I, I had extras, and uh, I'm, when it comes down to it, whether it be die cast or even my baseball stuff, I, I don't sell. I don't put this stuff on eBay. Um, I've got a couple items that I, uh, that I might actually do that now with, but um, I'm really into, you know, trying to hook other guys up. If you have trouble finding something and I got it, I'm more than happy to get it to you. And I know that those uh, those dots and wagons are uh, big with the collectors. I was more than happy to get you an extra one. Um, I could have technically done that with the Acura, but it didn't sound like you were all that interested in, in the Acura that much. And I, I just know that those Dotsons are uh, real big. Porsche 911 Rally. It's kind of a four-wheel drive. Well, you know, it's a rally car, so it's a four-wheel drive Porsche. Got that one also at Target. Got a, new, got a new video game at Target. Yeah, and the reason we went to Target this weekend uh, was so that Mr. Mag... weekend on Monday. Well, Monday. Well, it was still part of the weekend because it was a day off. Um, but Edison's birthday was Sunday. He had a little bit extra... He had some birthday money to spend. So he went over and bought him a video game. What did he buy? What you? Oh, match. Um, what you call it again? Minecraft. Minecraft. He bought Minecraft <laughs> for his Switch. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's that Dotson cast. Oh, excuse me, Porsche casting. Now I've got a couple of uh, rally cars, Porsche rally cars, in the garage too. So this one will go with those. Kind of a metallic brown or copper. Rally logos on the side. Uh, only the Bell logo appears to actually be detailed. The rest of them are just circles and whatnot. Um, no real detailing in the back or front. In the casting, you can see the lines for the uh, the little metal grill that they put over the headlights. But like the spare, the rack, the, the spare gas can are all the same colors, the main color of the casting itself. But that's another garage car. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Alex says, happy birthday. Wait, wait, which one? The... Uh the Big Air Bel Air? So you need one of these two then? Because um, I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure, pretty sure. But I know I've got one open already. This one right here. I thought we had another one. Oh, man. Um, I'll have to look around, Big A, but I thought for sure I had an extra. Hold on, I'm looking. Well, I might have to, if, if I don't find it, I will go back. Uh, there's a couple of game stops that um, hadn't been hit yet. So I'll go take a run and see if... And is that the only one you need for the game stops? The, uh, the Big Air Bel Air in gold? That one right there? I will see what I can do there. That shouldn't be that big a deal. I should be a bland lat, though. <laughs> Alright. I'll check on it let you know. Um, I do believe that is almost it for our Hot Wheels Honey cars that I, we opened. Let's see. I've got some other Hot Wheels that we got uh, mostly, though, for, there for Edison Open. One of them is the Tokyo 2020 Surfing. And it's the surfing car that's new for 2020. It's basically a car with what looks like the silver surfer on top of it on a surfboard. I mean, it doesn't look like the surfboard comes off. No, because the rivets go all the way through it, so it doesn't. Edison like that one, so we got that one for him. He's probably going to open that one. Uh, at the same time, on ice, over ice, I ice, saw, uh, oh, here's the Night Dragon in purple. He likes the Night Dragon. He likes a lot of the fantasy cars. So, oh, Dad, these, I got the Night Dragon because I already have two. Yeah, he already has red and gold. No, was, orange and, and like cherry red. Okay, orange and cherry red. So here's a purple Night Dragon. He's going to probably open that one up. And then I got one for me to open. Seven ish SS. I wish I had one of those sitting outside. Oh my goodness. It's part of the Fast and Furious castings for uh, Hot Wheels screen time, but that is just. And I do believe I have one of these in a premium already. I don't think I opened that premium because I didn't get an extra. But I have no problem at all taking a 94 cent Walmart mainline. Oh, I just saw the or Chris way you said that you were devastated. Just saw it, man. It, uh, I don't want. I don't want to get into that. Oh man. Because of the canceled Olympics, uh, he yeah. It, well, if I if I find one extra, sometimes. I'll go ahead and, you know, put one I've got, and I can probably swing this car, this vi this camera around, right next to the video. I've got, let's see, this is stacked out. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Eight high. One, two, three, four. Eight, yeah. So I've got... Almost 9 o'clock, so I guess you to go to bed three soon. Three across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe ten long. So do the math on that, how many cars. I've got three of these sitting right here next to us. And two cardboard boxes. All carded. Premiums. Supers. Almost the complete 2018 set uh, for the 50th anniversary. Um, including an ultimate. Uh, an ultimate chase uh, bone shaker. Got lucky and, and caught one of those at a Kroger. <laughs> oh, definitely, man. Golly. Yes, I wish I had one of those sitting outside. I, oh, God, that would be so cool. 
So there's one, one more for my garage. Alright, and I do have one baseball card that I did get. It's just to find out what I put where I put it. If I was gonna open it up, um, I really don't know where I put it. It's in a padded envelope. And oh jeez, that stunk. Well, uh, that coming. The one baseball item I had to open, I can't find it. <laughs> Um. All right. Well, like I was saying at the beginning of today's live, I'm going to try to separate the two, two channels out, and I'm going to open, uh, start another one. Alright, so you have all the 2020 Olympic cars. Um, the only ones that I actually got in car and kept carded on the 2020 Olympic cars, uh, the white and the maroon uh, Toyota Tundra, and the white and maroon Toyota two was it Toyota 2000. Um, and the only reason I did that is because they're Toyotas. Um, I didn't get any of the fantasy cars in the uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, and I didn't get those because they were Tokyo 2020, I got them because they were Toyotas. Uh, I think something with the, the Hot Wheels and licensing with Toyota had, uh, had expired and they just picked it back up or something. So it was it, it had been a while since you saw a lot of um, Hot Wheels castings or Toyota castings with Hot Wheels. So when I saw those, I went ahead and grabbed them. Oh, there it is. I've been, I've been stacking them. Or is that it? Nope, those are already open. Well, again, I did have a baseball item to open. I don't know where I put it. I do not know where I put it. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't even remember what it was. Uh, it was an eBay card that I picked up. And so, oh well. But other than that one card, that is going to be it. Uh, I've got some autograph memorabilia stuff uh, coming in. Oh, I, I said earlier that I don't really sell anything, but there was a couple items that I was probably looking at listing. Yes, uh, that's the two I have. I've got the Tundra and the Toyota S S2000. And maroon and white out both of those on card this is not baseball it's football but I got this this is a autographed mini helmet of Ladanian Tomlinson Ladanian Tomlinson there we go it is Beck inserted as far as the autograph goes whiskey 44367 the helmet itself has the same label whiskey 44367 Beckett witnessed that means somebody actually stood there from back at the company and watched him autograph the, the mini helmet. Yeah, Ladanian is, I'm pretty sure he's a 2017 Hall of Famer. 
Um, <laughs> but that is a white San Diego Charger. I think it's still San Diego. It would be considered San Diego Chargers uh, mini helmet. And a uh, what a speed, I guess, speed or speed flex. I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm going to be listing that for sale on, uh, on eBay. And actually, I'm going to try to get enough money to get, uh, and I would trade it if I could get somebody to do it. Um, I'm going to trade that or sell it for a enough money to buy me a Luis Gonzalez. And Big A, you, you would probably know who that is. Uh, Luis Gonzalez autographed baseball bat with the inscription 2001 World Series game winning hit because the Diamondbacks are on my team and I do have um, a 2001 World Series commemorative baseball that has that inscription already on it but I do not have a baseball bat from Luis Gonzalez so I'm going to go ahead and try to grab one of those because I've always wanted to put one of those in my collection. I'm working on a trade for this glove. This is a glove, an autographed baseball glove. This is a Wilson George Brett Signature Edition baseball glove. Same signature edition. And there you go right there. George Brett. But along with it being a Wilson Signature Edition George Brett baseball glove. The glove itself is autographed by Mr. George Brett. Right now I'm trying to trade this glove out for a, um, another Hall of Famer that I was chasing. And hopefully the person that got the other Hall of Fame glove uh, comes through with the trade. But I'm waiting to hear from that person. The other glove that I hit, this, is, this glove is fine. It's a, it's a Rawlings. If I were to buy a glove, I would buy something like this. Uh, but this is a Rawlings Sandlot Series 12 and 3 quarter inch baseball glove. That's a, that's a good looking glove. And it is autographed by Mr. Andrew Jones with the description. 10 time gold glove right there. That one I'm keeping. I'm a real big fan of uh, the Braves and specifically um, Andrew Jones. I, 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 I really believe that he should be and hopefully he eventually makes it. Oh. Dad, um, Dad, come here. Actually, Dad. what? What'd you get? New car, what you got? Pagani. Sweet. Exotic series, so we're not gonna get it for a while. Oh wow! Another, Another new car. Another, Another Pagani. Pagani. Oh my goodness oh. gracious! Edison is playing Need for Speed on a Switch, and he just got two Paganis in Need for Speed. They're awesome. Both, they're both in the exotic series, but I don't have that series yet. Um, actually, um, Alex, once the video posts, I'm gonna have I'm gonna put a link to Big A in the description for this video. And since you already have this one, you'll be able to find it there. So Big A, I'm gonna get your guys hooked up. Um, he would sure you know appreciate the support. I'm sure. And if you like uh, diecast, he's got some a bunch of uh, great diecast videos. Actually, one of the things I, I did enjoy. Um, that I, one of the things and it's different that I enjoy about Big H channels that uh, when I first started watching his videos, he he um, narrates his his videos in both English and Spanish. Uh, he'll do an English version or the English explanation uh, of the car or or whatever he's looking at the casting, and then he'll go uh, and do it the same thing in, in Spanish. And even um, when we watched the video that he uploaded for uh, the trade that we made. Um, uh, the the script, both the description is in, in you know typed out is in both English and Spanish. Um, and to cambio the Hot Wheels uh, con Troy's cards 
which is a uh, interchange or exchange or trade basically of hot wheels for with troy you know con troy's cards so and i i really i i'm a, a real big fan of let's say languages multiple languages uh uh, my Spanish is not as good as I'd like it to be. My French, my German also. Um, I lived in Germany three years, uh, and I've forgotten a lot of it. Um, I've lived in Arizona, in Texas, and, you know, that's where my Spanish comes from. I have some Honduran friends here in, in Mississippi, and uh, they've said to me that every time I do speak Spanish, I sound Mexican. And that's because the majority of the, the Spanish I learn, I learn directly from... Uh, from a Mexican, you know, Mexican friends working in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and Houston, Texas. So, uh, but I, I don't get to speak it that often, so I'm losing a lot of it. Um, the, the language of uh, the last language I was actually trying to learn on my own was Russian. I, I like the, the the structure and strictness of Russian, but that's just me. That's that's one of the things I like to do. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's again. Uh, all I've got, Big A again, Alex, uh, thanks for coming in. I'm going to go ahead and, and post that link uh, in the description. Well, all I have in, in Russian so far, and, and I've I kind of slacked up on it, was um, the, it was three, it's actually three different versions on how to say, uh, hi, how are you, and uh, basically just hi, and you've got um, formal, which is strictly formal. Then you have um, uh, uh, formal that's considered um, a formal, informal, or, or formal known, where you can actually it's it's one that you would even though you know the person. Um, let's say it's to show reverence or respect. And then of course there's um, the everyday you know hi how are you kind of thing you know like what's up uh, which is stop it uh and that's uh, that's my thing yeah i know but uh in uh, i think in formal uh, terms it's it you know hello is so and that that you know the russian in cyrillic is is uh, the alpha the cyrillic alphabet um those are something that I would really love to go and learn a little bit more of. German, I, I, my German was okay while I lived in Germany, but that was, uh, I got out in, um, I moved back to Seaside in 1991. So it's, it's been a couple of minutes. And if you don't, you know, you don't use it, you lose it. And that's definitely the way it goes with languages. So um, I'm still upset that I cannot find that card. I do not know what I did with it. Oh! Um, tell you what though, I can do something with uh, cards because I was working on a trade. I'm going to have to go ahead and hit up Truth. Uh, because I think it was Truth Be Told. He said that he had a Arizona team card for 2020 Series 1 or Series 2. Um, number 25. And he is a Tampa Bay fan. So I put aside some Tampa Bay cards to trade with him. <laughs> so tell you what uh, I'm going to go ahead and tag Truth Alex if you see uh, I'm pretty sure it was Truth Be Told if you see Truth Round tell him to go ahead and take a look at this video I'm at 54 minutes in uh, so he's going to have to tune in to the very end of it but Truth uh, if you do watch this later on these are just some of the Tampa Bay cards that I put on the side uh, in the hopes of trying to trade you know for that and anything else you want to trade put something together I'll be more than happy to send you a bunch of these cards because um, I do not, I am a set builder. I do not have the sets for these cards. These are just some packs that I opened because I had the need to open packs. Um, so here we go. Oh, real quick before I get started. Um, on my health. Alex, uh, um, it, oh, thanks, Alex. It was truth. Okay, truth be told. Um, I went to the doctor today, and for those of you who don't know the story, I, I don't know, Big A, if you'd heard, uh, two weeks ago or so, I had a heart attack. Um, straight up heart attack. Um, I had a 100% 100 blockage in my um, 
left in interior left anterior descending artery uh, the LAD which is one of the main arteries that feeds uh, the blood to your heart um, I got a stent put in and I spent a couple days in the hospital uh, been home out of work for two weeks while well, I went uh, I called and got my appointment moved up twice because I'm trying to get released to go back to work and today I did get that uh, appointment today I got the release to go back to work I will go back to work tomorrow the 21st with no restrictions uh, my EKG uh, according to the doctor I saw today still shows the damage to my heart from the lack of blood uh, from the heart attack uh, for the blockage of the vein or the artery uh, and uh, according to what she said that that part of my heart may never actually heal um, it, it may always be because uh, the, the muscle itself had a lack of blood so it may always be weak and you can actually see it in the EKG as far as that chamber not pumping quite the way it should and my wife is looking at me now because I didn't tell her any of this I tell all of the internet but not my wife <laughs> so there you go but I, I'm, I, I am good and I'll, I'll be returning to work okay so that out the way and thanks, Alex. Thanks. I, I'm i definitely and back on the men. Or on the men. What did you just say? Nothing. You said something and you can't get past me that easily. What? I said that I'm Mom, what on the men. All right. Tampa Bay, uh, Tops Gold Label, Class 1, Rookie Card. Pitcher Designated Hitter. Oh, hey, guys. When you type in stuff, t type in and tell me what he said, okay? <laughs> so, this is from 2020 Tops Gold Label. I do it on my boy's toys. This not, is not his channel. Uh, 2017 Bowman's best. This is when Brendan McKay was actually still uh, a um, what you call it, a prospect. Basically, this is 56 number 56 to 150, and it is this same card here. Here's the base card. And that's the number, see, that the gets its refractor. So this is his pitcher card. And then what's really nice is that in the same series, here's the Brendan McKay first baseman's card. Same series. This one's card number TP20. And I think TP stands for top prospects. And this is TP21. All right, thanks, Big A. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I will definitely be in touch. I'll be there to support your channel. I appreciate your support. Good luck on the hunts. Uh, get those cards, man, and I will go ahead and see about trying to get you a gold Big L, uh, Big Air Bel Air, man. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, all right, then I've got this Topps Chrome. Can't be Kevin Kiermaier. These are 2015, I believe. 2015 tops opening day Alex Cobb the 2015 opening day set Was the first set that I built and it was also the the, the pack of cards or the box of cards I have bought a $20 blaster 2015 opening day from Walmart and uh, That was the beginning of the end for me. I've been collecting baseball cards uh, Practically religiously from that day Jose Molina also 2015 opening day I do have that set built complete 2015 Topps Chrome Steve Sousa Jr. and after his this he I think Steven pulled yeah uh, It says Tampa Bay Rays, but then he's got 21 games with the Nats. Crazy. So this is this is his first year, 2015. This is his first year, first car with the uh, with the Rays, but he does not even have a game with the Rays on the card. That's wild. There you go. There. Blake Snell, Pops Chrome. This is 2019. Yeah, 2019. 
Also, 2019 Tommy Pham, Tops Chrome. From 2017, um, oh, I'm sorry, 2019. It's the 1970, uh, so that's 2019 Heritage. Daniel Robertson, second base shortstop for the Rays. This is going to be 2018, 2017. 2017 series, update series. 2017 update series, Ryan Stanek, rookie card. Rookie card. Chi Wei Hu. Twenty nineteen, right? Seventeen, also seventeen, seven. Yep. Yeah. Jacob Faria, rookie card. Rookie debut. Twenty eighteen rookie debut of Willie Adamas. Bowman's best. Willie Adamas. Out of Top's Finest. What year? Top's 20. 2016 Top's Finest. Evan Longoria. Also Top's Finest. Another Evelyn Longoria. Uh, back to Bowman's best, Brett Honeywell, pitcher. Jose De Leon, rookie card. Bowman's best. Tony Gerino's rookie card from 2018, 18? Yeah, 2018 tops. Oh, what's going on, cards fan? Okay, another Jose de Leon rookie card. This is going to be 2017 uh, tops chrome. Twenty seventeen top scrum again, Chris Archer. <laughs> then I've got these two. These are gonna be from um uh, tops twenty seventeen tops. Uh, baseball America Brandon Haywell and uh, Baseball America Jesus Sanchez. Okay, this is going to be Archive, 2019 Archive, rookie card for Nate Lowe. I need to go ahead and put that in a penny sleeve. Well, not Nate, is it Nate? Yeah, Nate Lowe. This is 2018 Archive, rookie card for Brandon Lowe. And I got a couple of relics. Got this one. Might remember back when he played for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to be David Price. 2014. 2014 Top Series 1. 2017 Top Series 2. Game used memorabilia patch. Chris Archer. And one auto. And this is from the Donruss Rookie Series. Um, uh, they put out that box uh, every year and it's just listed as the rookies. This is the Tampa Bay uh, Kevin Kiermeyer rookie card from the Rookie Series with a sticker auto. So, uh, again, Alex, if you see truth, and I'll try to go ahead and uh, check them out. It's right at the, right 
55 to hour 5 mark. 55 to hour 5 mark. I have to remember to put that in the notes. Um, but truth, you say you're a big Tampa Bay fan. If you've got some Diamondbacks cards you want to drop, let me know. And I'll go ahead and put that together and send it to you, man. So there we go. Uh, or, uh, let's see. Alex, you, you, you just can't believe how irritated I am that I can't find that card. And it's an autograph card that I picked up. I think it's, um, if I remember right, it's a Paul Goldschmidt autograph card that I picked up. And I do not see it. I just do not see it anywhere. I'll be a monkey's uncle. can't find it don't know what to do with it well but seeing as how I'm over an hour which affects my views and ratings and blah 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 because nobody watches for that long Alex appreciate you uh, yeah I'll, I'll go ahead um, I looked in the bags just now to see if I didn't put it in one of the bags in I don't have it I don't have it um, I will go ahead and look around after I cut the video, I guess. Straighten out. i got to straighten out the, the car collection anyway. So hopefully I find it then. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm going to try to separate the two channels. Um, try to do um, his channel. And they call it the Boys Toys. Or My Boys Toys. And then I'll have Troy's Cards. And I'm thinking maybe add Troy's Cards memorabilia or something along those lines. Or just baseball because I really don't do a whole lot of football. Um, I do have another piece of autograph memorabilia coming in that I hit just recently. Um, it is an, another autograph baseball glove, but this one's going to be an autograph baseball mitt. Uh, and I will go ahead and wait and let you see it when I get it in because I'm kind of excited about this one. So, again, Alex, appreciate you. And uh, I think I sent you an email recently. Is there anything you're working on as far as set-wise or, um, you know, some cards or anything that I can help you with? Uh, I actually, I'd, I'd hopefully, you know, everything at home is going as far as health goes because I know uh, your family had its own little worries uh, just as of late. And I hope that's, you know, that you guys are doing okay. Um, you know, when I can't remember, uh, uh, I'll go ahead and throw an extra word in there for you guys when, you know, in the prayers. And I think I did get your email, and when I answered, when I responded, I'd, I'd mentioned about that. <clears throat> so... Oh my goodness, that's so aggravating. So very, very... Wait, I see it. I see it. I have it. 
I have it. Alrighty. Yes. Alright, well, I will check into that again as far as the email goes, Alex. Um, but I sent it somewhere. I thought it was an email. Um, and it was basically asking if there is anything you're working on card-wise, set-wise, um, anything, you know, that I could help you guys out with. Um, actually, there was some Tampa Bay cards I was looking at just the other day. It's like, I bet you those would be, Alex would love those cards. Uh, this is the last card I got, and I just, I did find it. It was an eBay pickup. I got this from, and I'm, oh wow, they're fancy. It's got heavy card stock, uh, Facebook, YouTube, eBay, and Instagram. DC Sports 87, live cards, and uh, sports cards, and live breaks. And you can see, you see how the, the, in the ink on, on the uh, the DC Sports 87 and the Facebook, YouTube, eBay, and Instagram logos are raised. He paid real money for this business card. But I got that from him off of eBay. Or this, not that, but this card. And it is a... Number number five of one forty nine, Paul Goldschmidt, sticker auto, relic card from museum collection. I this is what twenty eighteen. Yep, the twenty eighteen museum collection. I really fell in love with. It's one of the museum collections that I would love to go through and actually just put together the base set. Uh, it's I, I love the design of the cards and. Uh, the way they look and everything, I, and it's just that it's it's a little bit high dollar. But there you go. We'll add that one to um, my Diamondbacks autograph collection, which is a lot ex more extensive. I'm sure it's not as big as other people's, you know, autograph collection. One day. and I'll see if I can't highlight a video of it one day. But it's uh, it's a lot more than I thought it was. So that one's gonna add to that. This was my last Paul Goldschmidt pickup before that. That's in 2017 uh, Heritage. And that's, it's not listed as the Heritage Chrome, but it's foil. And that's Paul Goldschmidt. Numbered 997 of 999. So, let's see. All right. Uh, hour and 15 in. Wow, long video, long video. Oh, wait a minute. Got it, alright. And I, um, was it there? Well, I'm going to look into it and, and, and let you know what I did. But again, the, the whatever I sent, whether it be on a comment from the video and I, I need to go back and look at that. Um, I was, again, just asking if there was anything that you were trying to put together that you needed some help on. Um, but again, there, was, there were a bunch of cards I was just looking at that... Uh, I'm sure that you would like. And as I was flipping through, I was like, oh, there were some, uh, uh, they're all picked up now. Yeah, because uh, my daughter came through and made a mess with a lot of my cards. And basically she pulled down like three boxes and just dumped them on the floor. And it's actually while I was going through those boxes that I came across a bunch of the cards and said, man, I bet you Alex would like that. So once I get back, uh, get those back straightened out, I'll see about putting them together and get them to you. Uh, most of them were uh, uh, Jays, the Toronto uh, Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays cards, and that's uh, you know I, I know that's your team.
Oh, not a problem, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate your support. I appreciate talking to you uh, about, you know, while I get the videos done and when you do, you know, you get a chance, an opportunity uh, to just, you know, stop and hang out with me. So, uh, get some sleep. You know, again, send me an email about what's going on with, uh, you know, the, that family situation that you have and we talked about. I, again, am doing uh, better. As far as I can tell, I am one of the men I am going to be returning to work, which is great. So, uh, and I'll send you the link, uh, of course, for the, uh, the 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 other channel that I'm getting set up for Edison, and I'm probably going to focus on anything I do car, you know, cars wise, as far as die cast on uh, my boys toys channel, and then uh, leave the baseball and everything for. Uh, Charles cards and memorabilia or something like that Alrighty, Alex uh, Anybody else watching? Thanks for coming if you still stuck around for an hour 15 um, Truth if you're watching because again, I'm gonna go ahead uh, time mark you and try to get you out there uh, but Those cards are set aside in a box waiting on you know word from you man So thanks a lot guys uh, This is Troy over at Troy's cards um, Thanks for you know watching and I'll catch you later Appreciate it. Bye. Bye, Alex.